when you put mail into your mailbox or blue collection boxes, you expect it's going to make it to its destination. But now we're learning that's not happening as often as you'd like. A lot of mail is being stolen and posted on the dark web. This check for $645, another for $1,100, and this one for $296. These are just some of the checks from Indianapolis mailboxes that experts tell me were taken, washed, and listed online. Oh my gosh. It's something Hoosiers are experiencing statewide. Put it in the mailbox with the flag up. People are taking your mail right out of the box. Then the next day, I look at my bank account online, and it said that there had been a like, $250 check cashed. I'm like, okay, I Pretty sure someone stole this. This audit report from the Office of Inspector General shows you're not alone. It confirms mail theft complaints in the United States increased 161% from March 2020 through February 2021. These are not kids, right, who, who steal the mail uh, from, from your mailbox. These are very sophisticated gang members with a very sophisticated and detailed supply chains with soldiers doing different types of operations. Tonight, Dr. David Maimon, the head of a cybersecurity research group from Georgia State University, is giving us an exclusive look at what he has discovered on the dark web. He tells me there are at least 100 checks being stolen from Indiana per week and that it's costing Hoosiers thousands of dollars. There's a really uh, interesting video where you see um, uh, the criminal opening the uh, USPS mailbox, take the you know uh, mail out of, uh, out, out of the uh, box. Uh, then there's another video with another guy uh, showing us how, how, ma how many envelopes uh, they, they were able to steal from uh, the mailbox and then drive those envelopes to uh, their hideouts. Uh, then there's their a couple of uh, pictures that we see uh, that they uploaded uh, where they see them sort through the mail looking for the checks. Other picture where uh, they show us uh, the market, right? I mean, how they wash the check with respect to using uh, uh, nail polish remover, you know, drying the checks and then, you know, selling the checks on, on those platforms. So very detailed operation that folks are bragging about. Criminals are also posting pictures like this one, showing the guns they're using when they attack and rob mail carriers for their mail and what's known as arrow keys. They're like a universal key to open up the mailbox. These arrow keys give thieves access to cluster mailboxes and blue collection boxes. There are also images like these, showing people are selling and buying arrow keys online for thousands of dollars. The keys will come with a list of instructions and guidelines with respect to the zip codes. Uh, the, the mailbox serve. Public records show at least 150 mail carriers were robbed nationwide in 2020. 261 were robbed in 2021. And these are the wanted posters USPS has issued so far this year looking for people who have assaulted mail carriers. This is the worst it's ever been. In fact, this wanted poster was from a robbery that happened in Indianapolis last month. According to the National Association of Letter Carriers, there have been at least four other mail carrier robberies in Indy recently. In the last five months or so. I asked the Indianapolis Postal Service what it's doing to protect your parcels and packages, but a spokesperson referred me to the Postal Inspection Service. The Postal Inspector wasn't willing to go on camera, but instead emailed this, quote, every day the U.S. Postal Service safely and efficiently delivers millions of checks, money orders, credit cards, and merchandise. Unfortunately, such items are also attractive to thieves, and that is why postal inspectors across the country are at work to protect your mail. He then listed mail theft prevention methods. If you'd like to see those, we have those posted right now on CBS4Indy.com.